in, in 2003, I had the good fortune to be in Baghdad um, at, at right after the Iraq Museum had been looted, and we began our investigation there um, with a uh, multi-agency international team uh, from around the world. Uh, and one of the objects that had been stolen from the Iraq Museum in 2003 is the gold bowl that you see before you here, an extraordinary work from the 8th century BC in Assyrian um, uh, gold bowl, um, and it vanished, uh, only to reappear on the market in 2020 here in New York, where this office, uh, through the extraordinary work of some of the finest agents, detectives, and analysts you could hope to assemble, um, was able to recover this and return it to the Iraqi people. So these antiquities were taken from Michael Stein Steinhardt. His collection had over 180 pieces of stolen antiquities valued at approximately $70 million. And his consequence is a lifetime ban on trading in um, antiquities. You know, most Iraqis, when uh, they saw the uh, statue of Saddam fall down, everybody was elated. We were, you know, uh, happy as can be. Um, and then the Baghdad Museum was looted. Total dejection. We were really as if our, 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 our soul had been violated. Um, people cried. I cried. You know, uh, so uh, this is really important to us. Uh, you know, we're a country of uh, very old very old country, long history, multi-layered history. And so uh, if you look at what the Iraqi government and the people are trying to do is to preserve this history. Contrast that to what ISIS did when they occupied any of their uh, cities that they, that they conquered. First thing they did is that they wanted to erase everything that showed the history of that place. Its identity, its 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 specificity. Uh, we don't want that. Uh, 